Okay, to say I learned the importance of squaring uh, was an understatement. I got things mostly set up and I thought ready, um, and then found out that my trucks were not quite square. So I did remove the core and remove the belts and kind of went back to re-square the trucks and double check everything. So I'm going to go over that because there was a few people asking what I did. Um, by no means am I an expert. This is my first MPCNC. Um, and I have learned a lot and knowingly made a lot of mistakes. So, um, you know, take anything I say or do here with a little bit of salt. Okay, so I have all the rails set up and they move nicely on the rails. So that's kind of step one is make sure everything kind of moves nicely um, and then move them all around. And then set them up. So from here, we're gonna take a tape measure or whatever measuring device you're using. And we're just gonna make sure that this truck and that truck are the same distance here to here, okay? And I printed out this guide from Ryan as far as tensioning them. So each truck has two tensioning bolts, right? So what we want to do is in this case, I've got, again, 28 and not quite 28. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this bolt to move the truck that way. Okay, so I'm going to take my wrench and my... Uh, socket and I'm just going to tighten that just a little bit again the the adjustments are quite small so you don't want to go and torque down on it um, that will wreck things um, so one sec here a few frustrating moments later okay so as I'm learning that bolt is almost impossible to adjust without um, taking the stepper motor off and I don't feel like doing that. So I'm going to try and adjust this one. Um, so again, these adjustments probably best to do, um, a little bit before that, cause I can't tighten that one very well. Um, and that just may be the wrench I have. Okay. So after a bit of so what it ended up doing is loosening this bolt and tightening this bolt. So this bolt brought it forward, loosening this bolt a little bit helped bring it back. Um, again, because of the stepper motors, it was hard to get uh, wrenches onto that. So that's what I ended up doing. Uh, but now if I check on this truck, we're 30. and 30. So that setup is now good and we can move on to the other guy. So this one is a little bit weirder to measure, I found anyways, um, just because it's harder to get a reference point. So if I go straight top down, you know, we're 20, Two hundred and forty seven millimeters, we'll say. Yeah, two hundred and forty seven on that side. Move that stepper motor wire. And you can see here, hopefully, um, that we're a few millimeters out. So we're probably closer to 250 millimeters. So again, we're gonna have to make some adjustments. Um, so I'm gonna set the phone down and make those adjustments and I'll tell you what I did after I'm done. Okay. Okay, so I ended up using a square just in the corner, uh, just to give a better reference line. Um, but now when I run this, 
I can see that I'm basically from the truck to the square, I am 30. And when I go over here, set the square up the same, into that corner. Again, I'm basically 30 within about a millimeter. So what I ended up doing there um, was tightening this bolt set here on the truck to bring this truck backwards just a little bit. Um, and that helped shift the gantry. And now when I move it around, it seems good. So everything seems to move nicely. And seems to move quite well. So I'm going to double check those and then I'm going to put my core back on and go over squaring the core. Okay. Okay, so I've got the gantry, or sorry, the um, core back on. Um, and we can see that it moves. So again, you kind of want to test that again, that it's moving decently. What we're going to do is we're going to measure the trucks and where they sit currently um, and check for square. Um, and then basically these two nuts, so these two, these two here and these two here are going to help us pull the rails one way or another if we need to um, bring it back into square. So at this point, we've already checked that we know the trucks are good um, in the previous step. So we know that part's good. So we'll remeasure and make sure. And then we should be able to use these two bolts once these are all snugged up. Again, not crazy tight, um, but they should be just snugged, um, just past, just a little bit past touching, um, if I read the instructions correctly. So these are what's going to help us put more tension on the rail to help move it around. So if we move this nut here and tighten it, what should happen is my understanding is this rail will move in, uh, which makes sense. We're gonna put a little more tension on this, which should move the gantry just this way a little bit. Um, and this I think was my mistake is my trucks weren't quite square. So when I went to do this part, um, I was trying to make pretty large adjustments to the rail. Um, and that's not what these are. These are fine adjustments. So I'm now good on my trucks. They're within millimeters. So I've got my rails back on. I've got core back on. Um, so I can make those fine adjustments. So I'm going to get ready to make those, take those measurements. So here we can check and see where... Thirty-seven or three hundred and thirty-seven, and on this side, three hundred and thirty-six. So I'm going to so I'm going to tighten this bolt. I'm going to tighten this bolt, and that should move the gantry that way just a little bit. So again, these are, according to the instructions, very fine adjustments. Um, so I've got my socket and my wrench, and I'm gonna make just a couple quick adjustments that way. Um, but first, sorry, the instructions do say uh, to check this way first as well and see which truck's set is the most out. So I'm first just gonna kinda eyeball this. without the square just to see if it's significantly out or if we're within reason here. So that says almost 34. So this, this side, the Y axis looks to be the most out. Um, so I'm gonna take a look at that first. So I'll adjust those um, so again, on the y-axis, we'll be adjusting these two bolts. 
So in this case, um, this bolt will help me move, this bolt will move that axis in, um, which is actually the opposite of what I want, sorry. Oh no, it's not. So no, I'm going to adjust this bolt, this bolt here, to bring this axis, this truck, a little bit closer to here. Okay? Okay, so that took a little bit of time and playing. Um, but basically what I ended up having to do was move this truck forward about um, two millimeters. And so how I achieved that was on this bolt here, um, using my socket and wrench is I tightened this bolt just a little bit, which brought this truck this way um, so that they then lined up. So these two trucks were out by about um, three millimeters when I started on the core. Um, and now if we check here, we can see, you know, We'll call that 35 for the sake of the video. And we'll move the square over here. And double check this one. And we're 35. Once I get that set up on this side. Okay, so then if we check the other two trucks, we can see that again, we're on here, we're 389 millimeters. And on here, 389 for all intents and purposes. But if I did need to adjust this, um, it would be these two bolts. So again, this bolt, I take this picture and I adjust this bolt, it's gonna move this truck this way. So if I did have a discrepancy, I would tighten this bolt or this bolt to move the trucks like this. So if I tighten this, this truck is gonna go this way. If I tighten this bolt, that truck will go that way. So depending on my measurements, is how I decide which bolt to do. So when I set these up, I basically turned them just so that the uh, nut on the bottom was touching the plastic and then backed it off about um, a quarter of a turn. And then I put my core onto the rails and that's about where I started. So I'd snugged up everything in the core to again, just a little bit past. So once it was touching, I did about a quarter turn and then on these, I left these quite loose um, to make these final adjustments. Um, when I first put this truck, uh, the core on, this truck was out by a few millimeters. So I did end up um, tightening uh, this, this um, bolt, which then brought that forward just a little bit. Okay. Um, so basically between... those two pictures um, I was able to square up my trucks and now I have a core that I've you know I've moved it around moved it back to about center and now hopefully it's repeatable or I'll have to reshoot this so we're at 30. 323, 324 millimeters. Just double check that. 300, 323 millimeters to the square. And this is 320. Oh. Three hundred twenty-three, twenty-two and a half 
So I still have about half a millimeter of play on that one that I might still further adjust. And then on here, we're at 30, um, call it 36 or 356. My apologies, goodness gracious. And 336. Okay, so this, my X, this rail, these trucks, which I guess is my X trucks, sorry, still getting orientations figured out, um, seems to stay a little bit more consistent than my Y rails. So I might play with these bolts here, 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 uh, sorry, here, here, and back here, these two on the core, just a little bit. I might just tweak them just slightly and move the core around um, just to get them so that they're more consistent because I'm getting about um, somewhere between a millimeter, half a millimeter of play as I'm moving it around. Um, hopefully that was helpful. It was hard to show well on camera, um, but I do think that the pictures that Ryan provided um, in the documentation do serve um, to get it done. Um, it does just take some playing and again, very small adjustments. Don't go in and, you know, go three turns and then start taking measurements. It's, you know, a quarter to maybe an eighth of a turn and then move it around, see how it settles. Um, double check that, um, I know I did one set when I first started, I didn't secure these once I had the core in. Um, and that did cause some weirdness. Um, so make sure these are snugged up. They don't have to be crazy tight. Um, again, as the documentation says, there should be a gap. Um, so don't worry about getting those so tight, but tight enough that the rail's not trying to move move out that should prevent it from sliding in and out. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll go back to getting things wired up and uh, try this again. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks.